Hey guys, welcome to this very first YouTube video uploaded by Programmers Warehouse. And this is going to be the start of the first series in our YouTube channel that's going to be a shopping website tutorial. In this website tutorial, I will be using a lot of services like MongoDB, Express.js, Node.js, Next.js, and we will be using JWT token authentication and Joy validation for validating our MongoDB models. Before getting started with this video, it doesn't require you to have any information about MongoDB, Node.js, or Next.js because we will get started from the very basic and we will use Tailwind CSS also. But we will not really much focus on the front end because this is more like a full stack website. So we will just use Tail Blocks or Tailwind UI component website to get the components from. And we will use Google O2Auth to send emails when someone orders something on a website so they will get notified. Yeah, you have ordered something from this guy. Well, I'm really exciting while getting while starting this series, and I hope that you are also exciting as same as I am. So first of all, let me just do one thing. Okay, I was just wanting to transfer all of the items from one screen to another one. Okay, good. So now this looks much cleaner, right? So here are, are every, every single thing. And uh, another thing to mention, I will be coming. You know, I will be uploading all of this content, all of the code to GitHub. So you can just go to GitHub and you can check my GitHub repositories, and you can actually enjoy, right? Look, I'm not uploading this video so that I will get more, uh, uh you know, watch them hours. It's it's all about you. You want the code, you can take the code, or you want to learn how I did this. You can see how I did this. I mean, I have already uploaded that on my GitHub repository, right? So we will just keep uploading as we move forward with this uh, uh, series. And I will be uploading a lot of more in interesting videos in the future. I will make a GitHub in a YouTube. I will make a Next.js app of YouTube. So yeah, that will be much of a fun. So without wasting time, let's get started. In this video, we are going to set up our uh, folder structure. In the next video, we will actually get started with do some, uh, while doing something. Okay, so let's make a new folder with, and we will name this folder as uh, shopping side. And in here, what we have to do is to hold Control plus right click on your mouse, and you can click Open with Code. Or if this, we will be using Visual Studio Code, or if this option is not available for you. There's another option. You can just click uh, here on the address, type CMD, hit enter, and now here you can just type code, space, and a dot. What the dot does, it means it wants to open Visual Studio Code with the current address at this directory. If you hit enter, it's just going to open Visual Studio Code in the current directory. As you can see already, we have opened something, and you can see, yeah, we have opened a shopping website. So now you can close your Visual Studio Code, and we can go to over uh, here. Uh, here, I'm gonna say we need to close our CMD, and here we have, in, we are in the Visual Studio Code. Let me show you my extensions first of all. Let me get rid of all of these things. Let's go to extensions. I have a lot of extensions. Okay, so I think they have already, uh, it's now built into VS Code configure these settings to use. Okay, one second. It's okay to uh, in uninstall it. Alrighty, I think it's already. Okay, so I, I'm using atom one doc theme as my current theme and because it looks kind of cool. And I'm using auto rename tag to auto close my HTML tags. I was using, I'm using probably the Beautify. I don't think it's really much use it, but I'm using Beautify to predefy my Visual Studio code. I'm using Code Runner. Okay, it doesn't concern over this thing right now. I'm using, uh, I'm not actually using this code stacker thing, but it's also a good thing you can use it. I have I used this thing for a very long time and now I moved to Atom and Doc. I'm using 
ES7 plus React Redux code snips and the fluid icons so that your icons will look kind of cool I mean to say like this JS icon or stuff like that these icons okay I'm using a JavaScript ES6 code snips for only writing the JavaScript not the JSX and we are using live server to make sure that we can actually you know run our website if it's static but in our case it doesn't really we don't really need this live server because we'll be using we'll be using uh backend to run our thing so well yeah and the live should is used if you want you and your friends to code along and material icons theme i mean it does provide a lot of icons for all of the things like js blah blah stuff like that and uh, one more quite team. I think I'm using this thing. One more quite team. I'm not sure. Well, you can see by yourself later on. So we have here. <clears throat> I'm using Tailwind CSS IntelliSense so that we can get notified about our Tailwind CSS snips. <coughs> okay. And Thunder Client to actually, you know, Thunder Client is a very helpful thing. Basically, what it does, it will actually make REST API requests in the VS Code itself without using any other outside things. <coughs> my bad. I'm sorry. My... Pardon me. Okay, so well, yeah, that was it for the extensions. And here is our. Okay, yes. For the Git stuff like that, right? good so this is our shopping website now here in uh, in the shopping website <coughs> folder I okay one second one second okay sorry I have a little bit headache so I had to stop off for one or two minutes all right now here we will make two folders one folder is going to be with the name of client that means where our next JS application all of the things will stay and another folder will be server folder it doesn't really matter if you're gonna name them client or server, but it, we are just naming them client and server, just to make sure that we are better understanding what folders are going where. So we know in the server folder we are going to keep our Node JavaScript or uh, REST API files, so that we can actually make API calls, and they are going to do their own stuff, right? So we can click here and we can just make a first folder that's going to be with the name of client click anywhere else click here again okay click here in the shopping uh website here so we can exit this we can we we're making sure that we are not in the indexes of the client folder itself because we want to make this folder separate we don't want to make them in themselves so we have client folder and we have the server folder so in the client folder we will be use, having installing our Next.js application and in the server folder we will be installing our Node.js uh, server. Well that was it for this video. I hope you really enjoyed this one because we are just getting started and we are going to do a lot more stuff in the future. I will increase this uh, you know, font a little, little bit more. So that was it. I hope you enjoy this one and I hope you will enjoy this whole series. I will like to see you in the future with more cool videos so we will just keep going in the future. If you have not subscribed to this YouTube channel yet, hit the subscribe button, click the bell icon, turn the notifications notifications all uh, on for all of my videos. Don't set it on personalized because you will not get notified. And after doing that, like this video, share this video as much as you can. I'm interested to share this video only with the guys you want to share. I'm no one to judge who you're gonna share it with or you all you will like your, this video or not because it's all up, up to you. I'm just saying it, all right? And you can comment down below how you like this video and how you want this series keep, keep to keep going or what type of series you want in the future. With that being said, bye bye, and I will see you in the next one. Have a nice day.